61 Calculus 1 Fall 2022 course. In this video, I want to give you a tour of the Blackboard site for my course because it is a fairly extensive Blackboard site and uh, you need to learn how to get around it. So let's get started. When you first log into Blackboard and you go to your Math 161 class, you're going to see this welcome page. And this welcome page is the main easy navigational tool for finding the things that you're most likely to need to find quickly. It starts with uh, a video about me and about what calculus is all about. There's the course tour video, which you're currently watching. There's just a PDF of what the uh, calculus book that we are using looks like. And then there are links to two important things, the daily folders and the announcements. The daily folders are uh, folders where all of the assignments and all of the information about what goes on in class each day is stored. And the announcements is how I communicate important information to the entire class. Over here on the left side of the window is what I call the main course menu. It is fairly lengthy and it is chunked into uh, sub pieces that make it easier to navigate. The very top one has a link to the welcome page. If you ever get lost, you can always click on that and you'll come directly back to the welcome page. A link for the daily folders and a link for the announcements. And we will talk about the daily folders at some length at the end of this video. The course and instructor information includes links on who I am, Emailing me, you just type what the subject is and you type your message and then you hit submit and it will get to me. And uh, links for the syllabus, which is a PDF with live links. I will pass this out on the first day of classes. I do not intend to discuss it on the first day of classes. So you need to read this fairly carefully. And if you have questions, I would suggest emailing me or talking to me in my office hours. And then there is a tentative daily schedule for the course. And the tentative daily schedule, you'll notice, has um, stuff organized by weeks. The Monday and Wednesday are the Math 161 um, schedule. The Friday links are the Math 163 CRN 3480 schedule. If you are in Math 161 CRN 1451, you should be enrolled in Math 163 CRN 3480 unless you have already got credit for Math 163. Um, if you are enrolled in a different section of Math 163, I would strongly encourage you to do an add drop to get into my section of uh, Math 163. So that's what the daily schedule is. The next chunk of this is where you find out information about grades, tests, and other graded assignments. The My Grades link is just the standard link for uh, reporting grades back to you. The test dates give you um, stuff about when the tests are. The first test is on Wednesday, October the 5th. The second test will be Monday, November the 21st. That is Monday of Thanksgiving week. Please make your travel plans accordingly. Traveling early is not an excuse for asking me for a makeup test. The derivative skills and take-home quizzes are take-home assignments. The first one will be due on Monday, October the 31st. The second one will be Monday, December the 5th. And we'll talk more about those in class when it's closer to the time that they are, are there. The final exam date will be determined by the university's CEP week schedule. We will have a choice between the 1 o'clock Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes or the 2 o'clock Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes slots and I usually let the class vote on which day they prefer. The uh, other links over here are ones that just give you more information about the derivative skills and more information about the what I call the PSS assignments and we will talk about them when we're talking about the daily folders. 
Calculus 1 is a hard class for many, many students. And many students realize that they need help. And uh, so they start asking themselves, I wonder where I can get help. And the free tutoring information gives you the synopsis of what you really need. First and foremost, my office hours are for you to get help. And uh, they are right after class on Monday, Wednesday, and uh, they're at the same time on Tuesday, Thursday. And I'd like you to keep in mind that your tuition and your tax dollars pay my salary. So don't feel shy about coming in and, and asking me for help. That's what office hours are for. Buffalo State also has a math center that provides free drop-in tutoring. The math center's homepage can be accessed from this link right here. And um, they are open between 10 and 4, Monday through Friday, and they open up for the semester on Tuesday, September the 6th. That's the day after Labor Day. In addition to our online, or rather, in addition to our on-campus tutoring, SUNY also provides tutoring that is online during the evenings, Sunday through Thursday. And this is system-wide, and Star New York can be accessed through this link here, and uh, then you scroll down to get a request tutor. And these are important sources for you to know about if you're wanting to get help, and either I'm not around, or um, you're just wanting to get help from somebody other than me. Uh, let's see. The textbook and student solution manual stuff, well, I've put everything that we need for the first two weeks on Blackboard. That's because I'm aware that it takes some students a while to get their textbooks. They may be waiting for a textbook that they ordered to come in, or they may be waiting for their financial aid award to come in before they can buy it from the bookstore. If you have not gotten a copy of the text by the end of the second week of classes, you need to let me know why you have not yet been able to get one, because uh, you will have to have access to this textbook on a daily basis so that you do not get behind. The Student Solution Manual is no longer available for purchase, but it is a useful um, resource for students to have, so I've posted the entire student solutions manual online organized by chapters. These are complete solutions to all of the odd problems. So if you are struggling with how to get started on an odd problem or you're wondering if your method was correct, the student solution manual is a better way of uh, getting help than just the answers in the back of the book. Let's see, after that, we've got review materials. So I want to talk about this. A lot of students have holes in their mathematical background. And I have posted a large number of links to Khan Academy videos that cover pre-calculus topics that are used somewhere during this semester. So if you find that you are struggling with a particular topic in calculus because there's something in high school remember, this is the place to get started. You can look for a video and see if a video would help. Uh, and then, of course, go to tutoring. The graphing calculator tutorials are more for your um, use if you are wanting to become a better user of a calculator. I do not teach graphing calculator technology because what you really need in this class you have more than likely already learned in your high school mathematics classes. Uh, the technology that I will be teaching you is on the computers using a program called Mathematica and that's in Math 163. But I do expect you to be able to use your graphing calculator to graph functions and things like that. And uh, this is where you can get more information if you forget how to do something. So now what I want to do is I want to come back to the welcome page and I want to go to the daily folders. The daily folders are, are organized by weeks. And each week I will tell you what the topics of that week are and what sections we were covering that week. And sometimes I remember to tell you what the Math 163 lab is all about. If we simply look through 
one um, at random, let's just pick week five. The weekly folders are organized into a folder for each day of class plus a Blackboard item to describe the um, lab. If there are prepare for class assignments in the lab, that'll be on the 163 website. You'll notice that the daily folders will again have a list of what things were covered on that particular day. And the organization of a daily folder is always the same. There will always be a prepare for class folder, an in-class handouts folder, and a practice problems folder. And these are kind of self-explanatory. The prepare for class folders contain assignments that I want you to do before you come to class. I am using something called a flip the classroom pedagogy, which means I have these video and reading assignments that I want you to do before you come to class so that when you are in class, we can talk about what you've already learned and we can build on that and I can have you do problem solving inside the classroom. But none of that works if you don't do the prepare for class assignments. These are critically important assignments. They are typically short reading assignments and one or more videos that I want you to watch. When I assign a video, you should take notes on the video um, because it's replacing or supplementing lecture material. And the videos from Khan Academy, and most of these are from Khan, are fairly short for the most part. If we go to the in-class handouts and problem-solving assignments, there will always be a synopsis. And if I hand out any kind of hard copies of um, anything, PDF versions of everything that I hand out will be included in the in-class uh, folder. And any problem-solving session assignment will be inside this folder. And the problem-solving session assignments are based on the prepare for class assignments. You will be doing these in class in a small group and you will be turning your work in before you leave the classroom. So they're kind of a reality check on who's doing the prepare for class assignments. They're also ways of letting me watch you do problem solving. And so I can actually step in and help um, correct problems before they become a habit. They are a very important part of your semester grade, and you can see the syllabus for details. So if we go back to the daily folder, the practice problems folder are the ungraded daily homework assignments. The fact that they're ungraded does not mean they are not important. Math is not a spectator sport. You learn mathematics by doing lots of problems. And these are the problems that are based on what you've learned, both through the prepare for class assignments and the in-class work that we did together. They typically include some practice problems from Khan Academy. These are multiple choice problems and you get feedback right away as well as written problems from the textbook. If you are struggling with these homework problems, that means you need to get to either my office hours or the math center, or you need to log into Star New York and get help. The final thing then in the practice problem folders, I will always include a link for the student solution manual so you don't have to go looking for it. These are serious assignments, even though they are not graded, because this is where you learn how to do the problems that this course is all about, and these are the problems that will prepare you for taking the two tests and the final exam. So once again, welcome to my class. Please log in and spend some time poking around this site and getting comfortable with it. I'm looking forward to meeting you all on Monday.